<laughs> There's a camera here. Angle alert. I better run. Holy smokes. Vince Russo wanted to call her tor Torpedo Girl. Major Guns, he wanted to call her Torpedo Girl. Mm hmm. How about she's coming to the ring barefoot, bro? We ain't looking at her, f at her feet here, bro. Oh. <laughs> So, um, this is about to be the best match on the card. Are you ready for who she's got to uh, face here? I'm ready. Miss Hancock. Oh man. It's going to be, uh, oh man. A clothes tearing mud match. And this is the greatest wrestling pay-per-view <laughs> in history. Oh, let me just send a text right now. Telling somebody how much I fucking hate them. <laughs> well, this has some, uh, this, this has some potential just walk into the ring. Don't you agree? I'm pretty fired up about it. Yeah, I am too. Meltzer would say this was mm. terrible wrestling, but delivered as much, if not more than promised with camera shots up Keebler's butt. And guns implants being threatened by the size of her top way too long. Actually for the fans who came specifically to see this match, at least it delivered on what they came to see from it. Guns had a breast exposed, What was mm -hmm. even worse as they went to the gym and tried to work out a match, which was about as two kids on their front lawn. Guns wound up in a typical bikini. Hancock had very short shorts and a more conservative bikini top. She was down to, they ended up in the mud. Hancock faked a cramp getting in the mud and she collapsed. Apparently doing a miscarriage angle and was pinned. Although the next night they explained that if she was pregnant with the tone of the announcement, a direct ripoff of Beulah and ECW years ago, guns and David flair freaked out as they stretched her out to an ambulance. I guess the big sort of here is they'll try and tease that Dave isn't the father. Hmm. By the I know, way, we, uh, say, I know it, we say it so many times, but every time I see Stacy Keebler, what do you think that you want to smack David flair in the mouth? I told you I just had to send a text telling somebody how much I hated him. Oh, that's, that's who you, that's who the text went to. <laughs> Let me take close captioning off. It's getting in the, my line of sight here. You know what? I'm going to send him a text too. Did you just send it to him? Uh, let's send it at the same time. You ready? Hold on. Let me fire it up here. Carry the one. <laughs> okay ready hang on watching wcw in 2000 with tony friendly reminder we fucking hate you mm -hmm. we both fucking yep. hate you all right on three one two three send very good. Oh, I'm well, we missed some things. Uh, Major Gun's shirt is off. Mm hmm. That's all right. We got plenty to watch. You know, I would say the fans aren't into this because they're not jumping and cheering, but mm -hmm. people probably can't stand up right now. So they're just watching <laughs> very intently. No one's playing on their phone. Stacy really got up in the air, didn't she, that time? Kind of a leapfrog, showing some athletic ability. Is this the most Vince Russo thing ever or what? Yeah. Well, this plus Judy Bagwell on a pole. Can't beat that. I would rather have this than Judy Bagwell on a pole any day. Yes, I would too. But I just say the combination of all that. Why did he want to call her torpedo girl? Because of the old pinups of girls on missiles? No, because she had big torpedoes on her chest and he was a kids fan. And there's a song called torpedo girl that H Fraley did. And it's about a girl with big boobies. Yep. Gotcha. So wait a minute, you're acting offended by these rap songs, but you were listening, uh, perverted kiss songs. They, but they didn't go out and use these words. Can't you leave anything to the imagination instead of going right out and saying it? Look at this, man. Look at this. She's 
Stacy, pretty athletic. Well, she was a former cheerleader. I get it, but she's very athletic. God dang. I hate it more with every passing minute in this. <laughs> this is without question the best match on the card so far. Yeah. Yes, it is. I'm sure that I'm, if she gets a boob exposed, I'm sure the network edited it out. Well, Tony, don't act like it's like, it's something you can't wait to see. We sent you her actual vagina in the mail. <laughs> <laughs> Did you forget? <laughs> oh, Eric rotten crotch. Great friend of the show. By the way, you got something else that's going to be showing up this week. Oh no. And you're going to wear it out. Oh no. Stop it. What you guys, you, you know. Wait, hang on now. Let's run through this. Yeah, let's run through this. You guys are like scraping the bottom here. Making me say all these bad words on. Tony, we sent you shoes. Oh, okay. Thank you. Well, so why are you mad at us? <laughs> I thought you were sending me some uh, another part of Major Guns Anatomy. I don't know. What? <laughs> Where would we even get that? I, I don't know. Where did you get the first one? Well, we got them from Tylene Buck's Twitter. Okay. But uh, that's major guns, by the way. And yeah. uh, if you go to at the Tylene Buck, make sure to do it when uh, your friends and family aren't around. You too can get yourself a little, uh, little pick me up. Really? Yeah. She's got stuff for sale over there. So even if they blur it out here on the network, you're still, still in good shape. Here we go. Oh man. You just knew that a boob was going to come out. Let me ask you, did, <laughs> <laughs> when, were you there when they started putting this together? What, the, this mud? Are the, you the match or this mud hole? The, the mud hole. Were you in no, the building when they no. started putting this together? No. When you came out and you thought yeah. about Starcade 83, <laughs> you know, all these big moments mm -hmm. that you grew up, you know, in the mid Atlantic territory and working for Jim right. Crockett promotions. Mm -hmm. And you see a mud pit. Yeah. Like you were down at Dirty Dave's Bottoms Up. Booby bungalow saloon right off route four. Were, were you at all regretful or ashamed of your life choices and career decisions? Yes. Oh, there's the miscarriage. This is the best shot of the night. Oh my God. Are you okay? Oh my God. <laughs> this is fucking terrible. <laughs> <David Blair. laughs> Jumps in there in the oh. suit. And right. of course there's Charles Robinson selling it. You know, Charles Robinson's gotta be thinking the same thing. Mm. You know, uh, Russo always said. And, and I always kind of agreed with the premise. He said he did things like this because he wanted his show to have something for everyone. Who was that for Tony? I, that's, that was my next, who, who was that for? I don't know. For the drunk guys in the saloon that didn't get enough of what they had last night. I, I don't know. I, And now we're all concerned about Stacy. We all don't know what to do. Don't know what to say. Those fuckers behind us are excited though. <laughs> 